Hello, thank you for watching this presentation on the online EE 4 plus 1 program. My name is Lynn Pratt. I oversee graduate advising for ECEE, and I'm currently the 4 plus 1 coordinator. The 4 plus 1 program is an accelerated bachelor's and master's program that allows you to graduate with the two degrees faster than you would be able to do so separately. You do that by sharing or reserving classes to reduce your total time to degree and cost. While it's called the four plus one program, you do not need to graduate with your master's degree in one year. We understand that online students typically are not taking a full load of classes each semester, making that impossible. We only offer the EE MSE degree online. So if you wish to remain an online student and are interested in this program, you should apply to the EE MSE four plus one program. If you wish to change your campus for the graduate program, you could apply to the computer engineering, electrical engineering, the robotics and autonomous systems, electrical engineering, or the EE MSE program. If you're interested in changing your campus for the graduate program, please speak with the four plus one coordinator for information and instructions. The EE MSE degree requires that you take a total of 10 classes. Those 10 classes will include any shared or reserved classes, which we will discuss soon. You need to maintain a GPA of at least a 3.0 and pass the written comprehensive exam in your area of specialization. Within EE, we have five areas of specialization that are offered online. More information can be found on our website. Pay attention to which of your pathway courses in your undergraduate degree that you like the most. You might want to select that as your area of specialization for the graduate program. At the end of the EE MSE degree, you need to pass the comprehensive exam. The comprehensive exam guide is posted on the website and you need to take classes that are listed in the guide for your area of specialization. Planning your courses for graduate school can be difficult since we do not have a major map, which we're probably familiar with for your undergraduate degree. Instead, you need to plan backwards. In order to graduate from the master's degree, you need to pass the exam in your area of specialization. In order to pass the exam, you need to take classes that will be on the exam. In order to pass those graduate level classes, you might need to take some prerequisite courses. Those prerequisite courses are most likely the 400 level courses in your undergraduate program and be the shared and reserved courses in the four plus one program. I keep mentioning shared and reserved. Let's go over what I mean by those terms. Shared courses are courses that count towards your BSc and MSc degree requirements. Reserved courses are courses that you would take while you're an undergraduate student, but they would not count towards your undergraduate degree and are reserved for future use in your master's degree. Many students only have shared courses since that is where the real benefit of the four plus one program is. You cannot share more than three classes between your BSc and your MSc degree. Overall, you cannot exceed more than 12 credits of shared and reserved coursework. For example, if you apply to the four plus one program and you only have two technical electives left to complete, you would share those courses and you could potentially reserve one or two courses for future use in the MSc program as long as you do not exceed a total of 12 credits. You do also need to be aware that online graduate engineering courses have an additional fee on top of tuition and fees. That fee is currently $402 per credit. If you are interested in this program, you should apply before you start taking your 400 level courses and have completed at least 90 credits. If you've already started taking your 400 level courses, reach out to the four plus one coordinator to discuss what your options are, since we want you to be able to maximize your shared courses if possible. Additionally, you do need to meet the strict GPA requirement. You need to have at least a 3.25 GPA in order to be eligible for this program. Let's take a look at some sample applications. This is a sample application for the power area. You will see on the left side of the screen, the student has listed out all of their technical electives and indicated which will be shared in the four plus one program. All of our 400 level classes are offered as 591. So students in the four plus one program would register for the 591 version of that course. You will notice that we also ask students what their upper division math science engineering course will be. 
This is to ensure that you do not forget about this degree requirement and that you understand the undergraduate degree requirements. Looking at the application, there is a total of nine credits as shared. That means that the student could have a reserved class as long as it's three credits and it fits into their schedule. On the right side of the page, you will see the 10 total classes needed for the MSE. The shared and reserved classes are listed and then the remaining courses the student would like to take to complete the MSE degree requirements. Here's another example of an application. This student has applied to the circuits area, which has four credit classes. The student has listed out all of their technical electives, indicating which are shared, because some of those classes are for credits, they cannot have a reserved course. That is okay because sharing courses between the BSE and the MSE program is a real benefit of the four plus one program. Since there is not a reserved course, this section of the application is left blank. On the right side of the application, the student has copied over their three shared courses and then listed the remaining courses they would like to take in order to meet the MSE degree requirements. If you're interested in this application, start filling out the paper application form that's on the website and send it to the four plus one coordinator to review. We might go back and forth a couple of times to review the degree requirements and your courses. Request to meet with the four plus one coordinator if you have any specific questions and follow any additional instructions given to you. Applying to the four plus one program is very easy. All we need you to do is fill out the paper form to get started. Here are some frequently asked questions. If a student applies to the four plus one program and then wants to withdraw, that is okay. There is no penalty for withdrawing from the program. If a student is unsure exactly what classes to list on the application for the MSC degree requirements, that is okay. None of us are psychic and your plan will most likely change over time based on course availability. Just list the classes that meet degree requirements. If you want to change your area of specialization or courses, that is okay too. You just need to speak with the four plus one coordinator so we can discuss the degree requirements and ensure you are on the right path. Thank you for watching this presentation. A copy of the PowerPoint will be available on the website so you can access these links. Here are some important resources. The graduate program handbook, which is the handbook that all students must follow in the program it tells you what you need to do in order to be admitted, get through and get out of the program. It's very important that you read it. The comprehensive exam guide, recommended prerequisites for our graduate courses, and the tentative three-year plan for our courses. Feel free to reach out via email to ecegrad at asu.edu to submit your four plus one application or schedule an appointment to discuss the program.